guys, welcome back to our channel. I am Sarah from Azul Unlimited, and today in this video, we are going to run through how to put together an effective cover letter and resume for scuba diving. Also, at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you some little tips on how to stand out from the crowd. You know, dive shops get a lot of resumes, so you really have to put your best foot forward in order to have people actually read your resume and consider you. So first things first, the CV. You want your CV to be really clear and straight to the point. So let's look at the basics. You wanna start out with your full name, contact info, so that includes email or WhatsApp, um, your nationality, your availability. I also like to put right at the beginning of the CV what languages you speak. If you only speak one language, that's fine. Um, you'll have to shine in other places, but if you do speak other languages, that's gonna give you a heads up, you know, above the competition. Under that basic information, you're gonna wanna put your level as a scuba diver as well. So if you're a dive master, you may want to include the number of dives that you've logged, any other experience with, you know, cave diving or tech diving. If you're an instructor, you also want to include your experience there. So maybe you'll want to include your number of certifications or, you know, the amount of DSDs you've worked with. Under this area, you want to include your specialties as well. So you may just have student levels for certain things, or if you're an instructor, you have instructor levels, you want to include that there. Also, if you've ever received an award from Patty, um, any kind of special recognition, you'll also want to list, list that close to the top of your resume. Now, if you're a brand new dive master or instructor, don't be afraid of that. There are actually a lot of places that prefer hiring new people so that they can really train them in the way that they want them to work and they want them to teach. So, you know, just be really honest, put the experience that you have and, you know, be open, like tell them straight up, I'm willing to learn and I'm so excited to learn because a lot of places really appreciate that. Right at the top of the resume with all of this information that we've talked about so far, you also want to include a photo. This is a little bit strange, and I'm speaking from a, an American perspective. I know that that's not a common practice for a lot of us in our work experience, but in the dive industry, it's, it's pretty much a must. Recommendations. Make it a clean headshot, okay? That means no hats, no sunglasses. Don't uh, post a picture of you, know, you with the scuba mask in red because you can't see your face. And I really recommend, like I said before, a headshot. So just the top, you know, this portion of your body. Sometimes we get photos and resumes with people, you know, men just in shorts, no t-shirt, uh, women in bikinis, and it's just not, to me, that's not the professionality that you want to give somebody, especially as their first impression. Also, big no-nos do not have cigarettes or beer or anything illicit in the photo. I know that sounds stupid to say it, but we've seen it. Below your basic information and your certification levels as a scuba diver, you'll also want to include what kinds of studies or experiences you've had before coming to the dive industry. So if you studied at a university or you have special skills, you're going to want to list that in you know, other studies or experience. As for work experience, you really want it to be related to working in the scuba industry. That doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be water related. There are lots of skills that are, that are transferable within the industry. So it's not, you know, you don't have to come at it with like a blank slate because you've never worked as a scuba diver. If you've worked in customer service, you've been a teacher in some other aspect of your life, if you have experience with marketing or social media, all of those things count here. If you've worked as like a nanny or, you know, something that's maybe not as relatable, I would keep that out just because it's, it's space, it's just filler for employers to sift through. When you're listing experience, make sure that you put down what your responsibilities were in the jobs that you held. Okay, this gives us as employers a really good idea of 
where you're coming from, what kind of responsibilities you've had in the past, if you're somebody that can be relied upon. That's really the important thing that you put in there. I don't really care about your job position because a title is, is whatever. You can assign yourself whatever title you want. But seeing what you are actually responsible for gives us a good idea for what we can expect of you as an employee. Now, unless you have a wild amount of experience in the scuba industry, you really want to keep your CV down to one page. It's possible, trust me, and you are going to have a better chance at people actually looking at your resume and reading the whole thing if it's not three pages long. Finally, the last important detail is that you make sure to save your CV as a PDF so that when you send it an email, the, the formatting is the same for every single person that's opening that CV. If you save it as a Word document, it's very common that the formatting shifts and then it's very confusing to read your resume. Basically, you want to make it as easy as possible for the person receiving your email to see what you're about and what you can offer the business. So don't make them work for it. Make it super, super simple. Let's talk about how to get noticed because there are a ton of people out there looking for work and dive shops are getting just bombed by resumes all the time. Too often, people write one email, one generic email, and they just put every single dive shop that they can find in an area. They just send the same exact email, boom, 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 same thing over and over again. Although this may save you time in you know, applying for a job and really you know, getting your resume out there as quick as possible because you're really desperate and you wanna find work, we can all tell when something is just a copy paste send. It's super, super obvious. Even if you change it, dear Sarah, like if it's coming straight to me, dear Sarah, boom, I can tell, right? All of us can tell. So if you want to get noticed, take the extra five to 10 minutes, go on the dive shop's website, go on their Facebook, their Instagram pages, find out you know, YouTube, any kind of online sources that they have, and learn a little bit about their philosophy and what they represent as a company. Then the big selling point is writing about that in your email. You say, dear whoever, I've been following you guys on Facebook, on Instagram, I've checked out your website and I really like what you guys are all about. Um, I feel like if I were a part of your team, this is how I could contribute and really help you to achieve your goals of X, Y, and Z. Please check out my resume. I would really love to be a part of your team. By doing something as simple as that, it shows us that you've actually done a little bit of research. And that alone shows that you're not lazy. <laughs> You really want the body of your email to be about how you can help them, right? That's the big selling point, how you as an instructor or a dive master can help them or to represent them in a good way. A lot of times in different industries, uh, this kind of statement would be more in the cover letter, right? In like an attached cover letter saying, you know, what uh, your goals are as an individual, what you're looking for, blah, blah, blah. But realistically, if it's an attached document, more likely than not, people are not going to look at it. So make your cover letter the body of your email and attach the resume below. Therefore, if you know, the body of the email is going to be your cover letter, you wanna make it really clear. Again, how can you help them to grow their business or to achieve whatever goals they're looking at. You also want to state what you're looking for. So if you're looking to advance yourself professionally and maybe work more with dive masters or you know, teach more specialties, if you're really interested in just getting more experience with beginners or maybe you want to focus on offering your skills as a photographer, you know, just really putting it out there, what you're looking for, 
the time frame that you're interested as well. If you're looking for a year long contract or if you're looking to settle down somewhere, um, all of that could be included in that email. Another big point, you want to be persistent. Again, dive shops get a lot of resumes. So do your follow-ups. You know, a lot of times we'll see emails come in and we don't really get around to them straight away. You can either do a follow-up email, just making sure that uh, they received your resume, uh, you know, that you're available for a WhatsApp call or something like that, or even better, an even better move is to physically go to the shop. So if it's possible for you to be in the area and go and see people, that makes a huge difference. If we're able to look at you face to face and have you know, a, a real conversation with you. By being persistent with this, it shows future employers that you don't give up easily, right? That you work hard and that you're motivated to get into this industry and to work hard here. So that really shows character. Scuba divers are known to be really flaky. So the level of professionalism that you can exude in your written word via email or you know talking to them on the phone, that's going to take you really far. We always tell our instructor candidates that, you know, as long as you can conduct yourself in a professional manner and be reliable, punctual, all of those things, it's really possible to make this dream a reality, having a sustainable life as a scuba instructor, just because you will be able to, you know, climb the ranks within dive shops relatively quickly. So I hope that that was helpful and that you're able to put together a really killer, simple, resume so that you can start looking for that dream job. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to hit me up in the comments below. And other than that, hit that subscribe button for more videos from us every single month. Bye!